In 2024, there are several astrological aspects traditionally associated with financial considerations. However, these interpretations are not financial advice and should be approached with a healthy dose of skepticism. First up is the Jupiter sextile Uranus on February 6th, July 9th, and November 2nd. Traditionally, this aspect is viewed as a symbol of innovation and expansion, which could potentially be associated with positive financial shifts or new opportunities in the market. On August 19th, we have Jupiter square Saturn. This aspect might indicate a challenge in balancing expansion represented by Jupiter with discipline and structure symbolized by Saturn. This could translate into caution or limitations in financial endeavors. Next, we have Jupiter trine Pluto on June 2nd. This trine might symbolize potential transformations or positive changes with a financial impact. It could suggest a period of growth or abundance. On September 20th, Saturn quintile Uranus occurs. The quintile is considered a harmonious aspect, and in the context of Saturn and Uranus, it might represent the constructive integration of traditional and innovative financial approaches. On October 12th, we have Jupiter sextile Chiron. Sextiles are generally positive, and this one might be associated with opportunities for healing or growth in financial matters. Finally, on December 13th, Jupiter sesquiquadrate Pluto takes place. Sesquiquadrates are often seen as challenging aspects, and this could indicate potential tensions or conflicts in financial landscapes. To reiterate, astrology should not be relied upon as the sole basis for financial decisions. Financial astrology lacks empirical support, and market movements are influenced by numerous complex factors. I've been thinking about where to stash my money, and while the bank is a safe bet, there's something intriguing about the financial markets. Guess what? Bitcoin won't be stealing the show as the major cryptocurrency. My bet is on Ethereum. Do you know why? Because Jupiter seems to have a soft spot for this currency, considering its structure and foundation. Uranus will speed up the process. We are to witness quick moves in the market. Isn't it fascinating how cosmic vibes can play a role in these things? What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments. As we've explored these various astrological aspects, remember that the key takeaway is not to make financial decisions based purely on astrology. Instead, use these interpretations as a guide to reflect on your financial strategies and potential opportunities. On February 6th, July 9th, and November 2nd, when Jupiter sextiles Uranus, consider exploring innovative ideas or unconventional methods in your financial pursuits. However, ensure to balance this enthusiasm with a grounded approach. On August 19th, when Jupiter squares Saturn, be aware of potential conflicts between expansion and restriction. This might be a challenging time to implement growth strategies, so it's advisable to proceed with caution and a realistic mindset. On June 2nd, when Jupiter trines Pluto, you might experience a period of financial empowerment and positive transformations. This could be an opportune time for strategic investments or influential shifts in economic structures. On September 20th, when Saturn quintiles Uranus, creativity could be your ally. This period might favor those who can seamlessly merge traditional and innovative financial approaches, finding a balance between stability and adaptability. On October 12th, when Jupiter sextiles Chiron, consider this a time for healing financial wounds or learning from past mistakes. It might be a favorable time for financial education or seeking advice to enhance your financial well-being. And finally, on December 13th, when Jupiter sesquiquadrates Pluto, be prepared for a potentially challenging period. There might be tensions between desires for expansion and the need for transformation. It's crucial to carefully navigate power dynamics and avoid excessive risk-taking during this time. Remember, these interpretations are meant to provide a fresh perspective, not dictate your financial decisions. Always consult with a financial advisor or conduct thorough research before making significant financial decisions.